guys 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 look at what is messing up our kitchen we have to go around and do a little cleaning on the edges it's so nice smelling so good you can't stop it from splashing everywhere but if you guys want to know what's splashing all over the kitchen here you need to keep on watching so that you know what's been doing the naughtiness in the kitchen. In the meantime, let's get started. Fatim and welcome back to Fatim Ali's kitchen. How are you all? I hope you're all okay and having a great time. I'm okay too. So today in Fatim Ali's kitchen, I bet you'll be wondering what is that here? <laughs> oh, it's like a... <laughs> anyway, um, we've got these leaves here. It's called in Mandinka Morongo. And it's called in Wolof green. That's how green it is, as you can see. Green it is called in Wolof. And I don't know how it's called in English. I'm sorry, guys. You can cite that up for me and then put it on the description section below. And my Nigerian people, I bet you'll know what that is called because I think Nigerians cook this. And also, I bought it from a Nigerian African store. And then I saw it, I was so happy because we use that in Gambia all the time and we cook our plasas in it. So when I saw this fresh one, I was like, why not let me go for this and then bring it in the kitchen as we always do. So this is what we're going to be cooking today and we're going to cook it as a plasas, okay? And then I'll show you later on what I will do with it, all right? We're not going to put it in there like this. We're going to do something with it in a minute, okay? So on top of that, in this bowl, we got three white onions and uh, three scotch bonnet chilies and a handful of spring onion that we blend here, okay? We've got a packet of granite powder, about, it was 500 grams. So we blended that, that's here. We're going to add that in. And we've got some salt here for seasoning. We've got some bitter tomatoes and they're frozen. I took them out of the freezer. They're all the way from the Gambia. It looks different to the ones that I normally buy from here. This is the one we use and it's very bitter. And then we've got some squid bonnet chilies here that we will add in. We're going to throw that in our glass sauce. It's going to be our floating on the top. We've also got some smoked catfish and then I take it off the bone. Clean it with hot water and that, that's here, all right? So we're going to add smooth peanut butter in and we've got some dry catfish here also and some snail that we will add. Then we've also got palm oil here, which is going in this recipe. But first, let me show you what we're going to do in the kitchen, okay? So first, guys, we've got some meat in the pot. We've got some cow belly here, okay, all nice and clean and all in chunky cuts. We've got some cow foot here, and I've already steamed it in my presser cooker because that takes a long to cook in here. So I halfway steamed it and then added it in, and then the rest of the cooking will happen in this pot here later on. And also we've got some mutton meat that is going in this recipe. And uh, I didn't get rid of this water that I cooked the cow's foot in because this has got all the good vitamins, all right? So I'm going to go on and add that water in here. So that's our water that's going to cook our lovely plasas. And then also I will add the blended onions. And then I'm going to season this with a little tiny bit of salt. Right, then I'll put a lid on it and let it cook for a bit. 
while I carry on with that leaf there that I saw you earlier, okay? Right, so guys, let me show you what I want to do with these greens, this morongo. I'm going to get rid of some of it like that, if I can remember. <laughs> okay, right. You're meant to go like this, and you're meant to trim it. This is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be trimming it. Give it a haircut. Sometimes in Gambia, when you are cooking this, you don't need to do this trimming yourself. When you go to the market and buy it, there are people that will do the trimming for you. That's their job. And they're so good at it and very quick. See? You just, you just buy it and then leave it there for them to trim it for you while you go on and carry on with your shopping. And then when they finish, you come back and get it. They're so quick and so good at it. been a while I don't do it but I, I think I, I remember it <laughs> it's a very nice food and it's full of organic very healthy because you know we all know all green stuffs are organic they're all natural good for your health So guys there you have it this is the finished product of our green cotton our morongo we have trimmed it all nicely and that took us about six minutes to do that and it's all nicely trimmed so I'm just checking any little bits that are a bit bigger then I just cut it but I think it's all okay all right, so I'm going to go on and then put it in the pot over there. So guys, we're going to put our bitter tomatoes in first. Because they were frozen and it's from Gambia and they're a little bit tough. So I've, I'm going to put them now so that they can cook. And then I'll put the granite powder in also. Okay. And I'll also put peanut butter in. There you have it. I put four big light spoons in. And then I'm going to put the dry fish and the snail in too. Then I will try and put the leaves in. Don't you worry guys. When you look at it, it seems like it's a lot of leaves. But wait. Until it's cooked, it will all compress and it will be so small. That's why when you cook it, you need more leaves. You need to buy lots of leaves because it compresses. We're going to put all of it in. Right, okay. Push it down. Right. I'm going to put the lid on halfway like this. And then I'm going to leave that to cook. Then we will come and show you later on, okay? So guys, let's see how this glass half is cooking. Let's see how our this morongo is cooking so far. I put the gas down and then I want it to slowly cook. Also, I've added some palm oil to it. So it's all slowly cooking at the moment. All right, I said to just give you a little look. I'm going to put the lid back on halfway again because glass has keeps splashing and I don't want it to splash everywhere so I'll leave it like that okay oh my oh my guys look at this morongo plasas this green plasas eh 
I went on and add this scotch bonnet chilies on the top just not long ago to float up look at that earlier I was like oh that's got so much water but I then just leave it to slowly cook and nearly the end result is perfect so now we're going to be adding our smoked codfish because now it's not much left for it to be done oh there's a big bone there careful of the bone and we give all of this a mix look at that okay so let me add my ongo shrimp just one And I'm only going to add just a tiny bit of the palm oil because I think it's got enough palm oil. I'm just going to add a tiny bit. Let that float up. And we still keep it slow cooking. Wow, that is looking so good. Yum, yum. Okay. So we're going to leave this for just 10 minutes. Then we turn the gas totally off. So guys, our lovely plasas is ready. We've used our nice lovely green, our morongo, and it has cooked so nicely. We're going to dish it out now, and then we will show you how it looks, all right? So that's done we turn the gas totally off now okay there you have it that's the end result of our plasas making oh my god it is smelling so good we bring this for you to show you how we make it so that you know and then we dish everything out in our large bowl here and then i'm going to set it aside because we're not having it yet and then there's some ideas that you can have this um, plasas with you can have it with rice, you can have it with yam, plantain, fufu, gari, you know, cassava. You can have it with all of that. It's all doable, okay? And I like to see palm oil floating up. It's the best part of plaza, okay? And uh, if you love what you see in the kitchen today of our plaza making, please put your thumbs up to like. And if you're new to our channel, as we always say, hit that subscription button and then click that notification bell right over here so that you don't miss out on contents when we post a new video you will be the first to be notified and we appreciate all of you who's been supporting our channel we cannot do all of this without your support so thank you so much and in the meantime you're all invited you can bring your yam plate around or your cassava plate or fufu or even curry okay and then have some of this plasas because it's a lot going. In the meantime, we love you all and see you in our next video. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.